Fit like a bee, Danny Boy here, and welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever 2 on the UK map. We've eventually reached, well, it's 2022. <laughs> it's not actually 2021. We're a year ahead of ourselves. Now, I want to get a few new trains on the go. So, this Northwest via Manchester. Right, so this can have some electric trains. We've actually got two electric trains right here. Now we might get rid of some of the old stuff, maybe the the inner cities. Uh, we'll see what we've got. I'd like to mix it up. I'd like to keep these cross country, uh, possibly the Virgin stuff. I'll maybe change out the Great Western Railway uh, stuff, but I think we'll change definitely this. In fact, we'll change this one out. So it's got 102, 176 capacity. Now uh, I want to manage this vehicle in particular. Now we should be good for electrification. Uh, edit selected vehicle. I want to actually replace it. Now we should have uh, something along the lines of Caledonian sleeper range, right? So we have this, the class 92. Which is a bit slower, but that's okay. Got some LNER stuff, Northern, there's the Ryzen train, ScotRail stuff. So we've got that dark colored one in there. The electric, uh, the electric blue trains, I think in here, there might possibly be one that would be down at the bottom. No, Malcolm Rail is interesting. Uh, right, so hold on. What about in here now? We've got LNER stuff. Brilliant. We want the LNER stuff, which is good. Uh, the Flying Scotsman, it's a pretty cool livery. Hey, we've got uh, the power car for that. Uh, the Euro Jewel, which is pretty cool. But we've only got one. Now, I thought that there was a Caledonian sleeper variant of something. It might be in here. Yeah, there is one in here. There's that. That's the dark color as well. I'm looking for the the sort of light blue, like this sort of blue color, same as DRS. Uh, check in sectors. It should be pretty easy to find, but if we go into coaches, right? So passengers, yes, please. Coaches, is it in here? Possibly. Head down to the bottom. Yeah, we've got these ones. And we've got these. See, these are the sort of older Caledonian sleeper. Maybe the, the actual locals and stuff for this have maybe gone. Possibly. Who knows? I mean, it's definitely not in class 32s. I don't think there's any in here. Oh, well, that's interesting. Okay. We shall abandon that prospect, maybe. No, in fact, we won't. Right, so give me that, uh, give me that in our city. So give me you. Go on to here. Find that in our city. We're going to replace it because it's like, they don't use that livery. Anymore, there was a request for me to use. Uh, someone had commented, mentioned that they had seen a travel vlog with the Intercity 125 Swallow uh, class 37, 47. Yeah, class 43, even. And it was pulling LNER coaches. I did look, I tried to find the particular travel vlog so I could get an image of the train so I would know exactly what to put on it, but I couldn't find it. So if you are that person, if you could leave me a link to uh, that specific travel vlog, I'll be able to have a look at it and I'll know exactly which one to, uh, to change up. I want to change up this one. So we'll go to manage vehicles. Okay, right. Replace this with, we shall replace it with a diesel. We'll check everything just to make sure. I'm pretty sure there's none in here, these are all Trans Pennine and DRS stuff. Fair enough. 
pretty sure there's not one in here because it's all for free mostly I mean what's in here I don't think there was any new class 43 stock and there's not going to be any new class 47s because they don't really build them anymore uh, anything in here negative uh, the peaks I don't think there's <laughs> so these are going to be slow because they're for freight okay however there is this alright so go into that 12 variants of that okay so we will pick up one of these Caledonian sleepers ah perfect passengers now there are different variants of the sleeper wagon so there's none in there that is okay uh, check in here nothing in there we want to get some pretend the Lino was done as well uh, check in here nope Scott Rail in our city blah 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 ah wait sleeper coaches no and there ain't even any in here okay I did download a mod to get the purple first great western dynamic lines class 43 but it doesn't seem to have ever appeared I've maybe not downloaded it I'll have to actually check it let's have a look we've looked in here uh, it's not well there are ones in the 250s yeah there's even old school in 250 this is the color of local I was look, uh, looking for it potentially might be well out of date now there's not really anything to stick on the back of here maybe this uh, DB cargo number we'll have a look and see if there's anything else that sort of matches or we might just stick another diesel local on the back so here they are they're in here now we have sleeper carriage and normal carriage so we'll go one and two I don't think there's a restaurant car we will look just in case no negative okay go ahead back down go here go down and we want Caledonian sleeper we'll get four or something uh, one two three four uh, capacity of 132 is fine it's currently only got 52 on board and then we'll go back into diesels and we shall get one of these for the back now I could make an electric variant also I want to replace this one and see how it looks so let's have a look it should look pretty cool I, I, I actually really like the the new age Caledonian sleeper livery uh, we shall have to keep an eye out for the, the next one yeah it looks really nice actually so these seats in here are like first class seats they're really really comfortable if you don't want the sort of beds there's like the bed wagons there so they are pretty cool this is looking really old and sort of beaten up but yeah let's have a look at the the good old pretend linos because we want to get some of them on the go from edinburgh on the uk south because I do believe that is electrified to so the England South. So, right, we've got a Caledonian sleeper on there. Yeah, we've got these already on here. Caledonian sleeper. Yeah, there's the blue. So this is what I was kind of looking for uh, previously. Yeah, that color of blue. So I think this is like the old one, which is unfortunate. Uh, what I'll do is, even though they don't really run on that line, I will change up the Virgin trains on that Manchester line, right? We'll change them up for uh, the Pretendolinos. They really, I think they should come out of Edinburgh. I think uh, Carrington left a post saying that they should be out of Edinburgh. But just for the sake of getting them running, we're going to change them on here so we've got a couple uh 
yeah, we'll get rid of the virgins, right? So, select you. In fact, I'll keep them. I think I might get rid of these Great Western Railways. So, manage vehicle. Uh, replace you with. Now, we want an electric. What is the electric train that takes the Pretendolinos? I mean, is it something like this? DBC. This looks like it would be used for freight. Or, if we go into electrical multiple units, right head down. Uh, we've got this Grand Central. It's only got, yeah, yeah. So you are basically one of those with one of these at the back. Which is really cool, actually. But we've got these as well, the 390s. Lots of versions of the 390. Tons and tons. So I think you could probably use this Caledonian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you could add this. Which I will do if I can find the... The other one? Yeah, that one. So you could add this and it's like a loco and a D or a DVT on the back of it. Because I think these, right, passengers, are possibly... Maybe the same as these. Wait, where's the Pretendolino stuff? Mark three coaches. Yeah, they're down here. Mm, they do look kind of different. So what we'll do is, right, find a Virgin Trains version of this. There must be one, right? Perhaps not. Really? No Virgin Train. LNER. Ah, oh, wait, this. Ah, the Pendolino. Welcome aboard, sir. Uh, let's add you from wherever it is I just found you. Where did I just find this? Oh, up here, right, the Class 92s. Now, these are not massively fast in terms of some of the other stuff that's rolling around. Yeah, there they are. So, is there a buffet car for this? There absolutely is. Pretend Alino. There's no sleeper for this though, right? No. Okay, right. So, add... A couple, right? So, we'll get... Yellow front. Uh, two is first. One, two. We'll get the, the buffet car. Odd. We'll go back up. We'll get the two standard. And then we'll add one of these. So we'll leave one as Virgin branded. So add that to the back and then buy it. So this great great western has been replaced. Let's have a look at it. Now I think these have only got a top speed of 92 miles per hour, which could be kind of bad. Because it means that the trains behind can now uh can now catch up. That's sort of nice. That's that's well well suited there. Yeah, yeah, very nice indeed. Perfect. All right, off it goes. We shall get a another one. And I'll actually maybe have a look. Uh, pick us up from in here. So we've got another Great Western train. So we're going to be changing this up. So we're getting a real mix of trains here. Manage vehicle replace with electrics. Now we could go if I can find one 
Yeah, I'm surprised there's no... Well, there is, but they're older. None of them seem to have the sort of newish sort of livery, which is odd, but it's okay. I mean, there are some Virgin trains there, but none of them have the the correct livery. And it's only in here. There's the classic 92. Okay, so Pendolino. So why does this say Pendolino, but <laughs> the wagons say Pretendolino? Uh, who knows? This may be a separate mod that I need to download and that I've not really found yet. Well, let's change these up then. There we go, Pretendolino, and this says Pendolino. Mmm, weird. Right, two of them. Uh, buffet car. Yes, please. Give me that. Add that. Remove or add some more of this. All right. Cross country. Keep going down. DS. One, two, three, four. Unbranded. Go for it. Replace. And that one is replaced also. Wherever it may be. Now, we've got the Caledonian sleeper. Obviously, there's no light blue for it. But I'm thinking about replacing these with th something along the lines of a cross-country variant, possibly. We'll have to have a look and see, but I want you manage vehicle, yes please, replace it. And let's see what we've got. So we've got electrics. There's a cross-country rail services there. And the thing is, I don't think there's any cross-country rail services DVT. We'll have a look in here. I could use that. DRS Blue DB Logos. Is there an unbranded DRS? And there's Scott Rail. If there was an unbranded Blue DRS, right? I would have used that to build the Caledonian sleeper in blue. There's definitely none in there. We'll check in here though. Head to the bottom. Uh, NHS, Southern Rail, Southwestern, Scott Rail, Ryzen 5, Northern, Network Southeast, Network Rail, London Northeastern Railways, London Northeastern Railways. Some cool inner cities there, old school inner city livery. Anglia, Great Western Railways, First Great Western, First Great Western. Okay, change of plan, right? Add this. So add that. Passengers. We'll make up another sleeper. I have a plan for this though. Right, so the plan is sleeper carriage, one, two, Caledonian sleeper, one, two, three, four. I'm going to add this to the back of it, and I think that may actually work. Now, obviously, this says it's for cargo, but it's basically unbranded. It's almost the same color. If it had been slightly darker, that would have been... Perfect. Alas, it is not. There we go. So we've got that Caledonian sleeper on the go. I need to find a DRS mainline train that is unbranded. Okay, let's find one. Give me you again, because I'll replace the, the other intercity. This one here. Uh, details, manage vehicle, replace with. Now we're pretty sure there's nothing in electrics, right? Even though this stuff is old, it's still pretty quick. EEB. Anything in here? 
Real Freight Distribution. Definitely no unbranded. Wait, this is a Caledonian sleeper? Cross country. What? Hello? That looks like a network southeast. Livery. That should be down there. So wait, do I actually <laughs> really have to look at these? Right, the Balfour B is correct. Chiltern Railways? I've no idea. Yeah, that's Chiltern Railways. This is Network Southeast. So what is in the Network Southeast? NHS. Okay, I think what it is, possibly, is that once upon a time, this Network Southeast uh, might have been the old school Caledonian sleeper. If I was to go back a few years, I think that livery... Uh, might have changed. Possibly this one as well. Direct Rail Services. See, that says Direct Rail Services as well, but it's Coalless Rail. The rest of them all seem to be pretty correct. And yeah, the rest of them are all good. Okay, that's strange. It's a mystery. We do like... A mystery. How fast is the Euro Jewel? 99. I suppose if I was to paint it blue, <laughs> it might be okay. Right, give me... Right. You're too slow. 75, too slow. The Peaks, class 35. Is there an unbranded DRS in here? Plague Monster. No, all the DRS stuff has the has the appropriate logos. Anything unbranded in here that's the correct colour of blue? That's pretty close. Pretty close, but it's not close enough. Nothing in there. Anything in here from DRS? See, transport wheels. We've got the Queen's Messenger. Arriva, it's just not the correct blue that we need. Right, DRS, can be an unbranded. DRS plain blue. Maybe, possibly. Lots of Scott Rail stuff in our city. I mean, what I could do is going all electrics right i know this one here has an old school inner city livery and perhaps maybe use that inner city one two five let's build it and see how it looks so passengers right where were the caledonian sleepers in blue, they're there. Add that, add that. Mm, no, DRS would have been perfect for that. We're pretty sure we've checked everything. There's no unbranded DRS train or anything that's that sort of light or blue. Oh well, that sucks. <laughs> but we've at least got this one done, which is nice. And I was looking something, looking for something in a sort of cross-country variant to change up this one. Or do we leave this one as the sole survivor? Uh, replace it. No, I think we will actually go with a cross-country variant for this. Or we could change it up to something like the Queen's Messenger. Which is here. Transport for wheels. Mm. 
Decisions, decisions. The rest of those electrics are pretty fast, so we're going to need to make it appropriately fast. There's no cross country in here. What is Malcolm Rail again? I think Malcolm Rail is Scottish. says class this has got TV logos could use this Scott rail number see look GNER unbranded give me an unbranded right hold the fort add that now I am currently aware that there is no uh, DVT for this. How does this look? One, two. It looks not too bad. All right, three, four, five, six. Electrics. Uh, where am I? I'm lost. Lost and confused. This. Add that to the back. Replace. Okay, train. Where are you? Uh, you're down the side of a mountain. Which is interesting. Oh dear God, where is it? It's in a tunnel. Okay. <laughs> they say the train has gone AWOL, but it is there. Alright, let's see. Okay, so it does have the DB. It has the DB Schenker logo on the side. It's currently stuck in a tunnel. Well, that sucks. Uh, you are waiting for Food Path to head into Glasgow. That sucks. Okay, in the meantime, I've got something else I would like. Whoa! You're heading for Glasgow, so Glasgow is a busy station. It would seem. Whoever this is, is heading out though. Good for you. Virgin Cross Country. Uh, is that freight train? No, no, no. <laughs> it's a very old train. I should probably upgrade these, but I like having them. I like having the them in there. Wow, there is a lot of stuff happening down here. Wait, but there's no one in there. Oh, you go. What are you waiting for? Ah, uh, you're trying to go into this. Well, that's massively unfortunate. You move. Like, imminently, please. That would be marvellous. <coughs> and then I want to find another train. It's another Scott Rail number. Where is it? The one that goes from Edinburgh to Glasgow, right? It's running like older. Scotland Central Belt. No, Edinburgh, yeah. No, where is it? Edinburgh and Glasgow. So we're currently running these. Okay, which one is the central belt running? Scottish Airport, Scotland Northeast Central Belt. Yeah, so you've got these two. This is an electric train, right? Who are you, my friend? Are you an electric train? I think this is a diesel. First Scott Rail. Okay. Now what I want to do is uh, <coughs> change up these ones. These ones right here. I'm going to check the route. I don't know if this... I know it's electrified at least down here 
Yeah, so that's all electrified, and then it's not electrified here. Okay, hold on. So electrification there. Let's electrify this up. Give me that. Give me that. Uh, yes. And yes. Uh, we're going to have to do that section there as well. <gasps> Go through this way. Is that the actual train that needs to... No, no, no. It's this one here. Because this one is the through that heads on. <laughs> this hideousness here has got nothing to do with anything. Are you elite? Now, I'm pretty sure that the entire station up here is electrified. It is. And now I just need to do the crossovers. There. Okay, so I can now change you up, right? And you will be happy with the changes that I am going to make. Are you? <laughs> Let's find out. So this one here, we'll do this one first. It's currently in a station and it's kind of upset. As you can see, the consist has, has disappeared from existence. Now, we've got lots of stuff. Electric-wise... To play with. Right, so we've got first Scott Rail right there. Uh, Inner City Swallow, they all look really cool. We'll go with one of these to begin with. So add you. Now, passenger wagons. Is there even for Scott Rail passenger wagons? I think the answer is possibly negative. So they are perhaps used for freight. We'll check in here just in case. GNER. Right, I know exactly where there are though, in here. So we've got Scott Rail there, it's a really light blue, it should be the same colour of blue. Yeah, Scott Rail 250s, Mark V coaches. Uh, that's the restaurant. Okay, Caledonian. Transpennine. <laughs> Where the hell is the standard? Like first class. There, Scott Rail, where are you? To the standard open. That's kind of good. Scott Rail, first. So, first class. We'll make it a smaller train. Uh, restaurant car, yes, please. Go down to the bottom, to the standard open, and then I need something to throw on the back, which I don't know what to throw in the back. There's not really any ScotRail DVTs currently kicking around, and here's that unbranded number again. DVT in our city, that's nice, but it's not what we're looking for. Check in here as well. Virgin, Virgin, Virgin. Definitely not going to be any in there. I don't really want to use any of this stuff. It's kind of old. Okay. That's fine. Check in diesel multiple units, because you often get stuff at the back. Uh, posture, cargo, no, passenger. In fact, go with electrics. Go back into here. And we'll 36. Get me one for the back, Scott Rail. Add, replace. 
Right, no red light of doom. As of yet. Seems to have worked. Which is nice. It should be at this station here. Well, it's first Scott Rail. And they've just got the standard sort of Scott Rail trains. Which is okay, I suppose. I think those class 90s or class 92s or whatever they are potentially are maybe supposed to be used for freight. Who knows? But we need, we've got one more upgrade, right? And there is others that we can change up. I mean, what I could do is go into Highland Glasgow, Scotland Central Belt, right? This one here, I could I could replace this one with a diesel. Because we now have, in diesels, down here, this. Right? Rail freight, intercity. BR Scott Rail. In the class 68. Transpennine, Transpennine. Transpennine, but these all look like regional railways numbers. I'm kind of confused with that, actually. See, there's this Scott Rail here. See, that's sort of A-OK. -okay. I mean, we could just change up that. Okay, so add this, right? Add that. No, don't add that. Remove that one. Remove it. Uh, go in here. Intercity Swallow. BR Scott Rail. Right, add this. Okay, passengers. Now, even though these are old, this should work or look pretty much the part. One, two, three, four. And I think perhaps somewhere there is a DVT for this. I just need to hunt it down. Nope. Uh, nope. Is it possibly gone? Maybe. Intercity 250 into here. Last chance saloon. DVT Intercity. It's not the Scott Rail one, but it's kind of close. Okay, go with it. Add it. Replace. We'll see how this looks. It might look stupid. We'll see. Now it's waiting for a free path. It's passing that electrical number. So it does kind of work. I'm going to go Scott Rail, Scott Rail, and then we've got this at the back. Now I'm pretty sure that there was a different DVT with these blue markings. Or maybe it was not. I will have a look for it. It's maybe been and gone. But that looks kind of nice. But we'll leave it there for that episode. I do apologize. I had lots of plans to do stuff and then... Uh, it's, um, I find it difficult to find things that sort of match. We're doing like a sort of weird mix and match, which is odd, but still kind of works. But yeah, we'll leave it there for that episode. As always, if you did watch this and you would like to leave a like, comment, or dislike, please feel free to do so.
And if there's more you'd like to see in the future, then hit the subscribe button. I've been Danny Boy, and this has been Transport Fever 2 on the UK map, and I will catch us later.